All right, today for my interview, which I've started on my YouTube channel, these are kind of fun. So this is, uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I'm sitting with Ryan Woodall. And in hey, case man. you don't know who Ryan Woodall is, I'm gonna probably uh, say that Ryan is the fastest guy that's ever come out of Florida for <laughs> mountain bike and cyclocross racing and road for that matter. Uh, so I, I wanna talk a little bit about some of your accomplishments. Uh, but first of all, uh, just uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and, and how you got into riding because you, you've been at this for a while now. You started as a, as a junior. So how'd you get into yeah. cycling? Um, I grew up with uh, like an automotive family. My dad was an auto mechanic. Uh, we were around race cars, go-karts, okay, motorcycles. Cool. Uh, if I had a motor and went fast, we were into it. Cool. And we got into introduced into cycling, uh, say when I was 12 years old, and it was like, it was the natural fix. Like we, yeah. were, we were competitive. Um, athletically, but you know, as a smaller, smaller guy, it was hard for me to compete in most American sports. And I got on the bike, and it it worked, and definitely had fun right away. And uh, haven't really looked back since. Now, so you was it mountain bike racing that you got into first? Not mountain biking. Okay. Yes, sir. And you live pretty close to the Santos trails, and so that definitely helped. That's a pretty uh, pretty amazing trail system for Florida. If you haven't been to Santos. I go there because now I think now they're probably what would you say 70 miles of trail that's there? my understanding it's somewhere around 70 miles of single track yeah and not just single track but they've got some pretty gnarly stuff you can ride there some drops and stuff yeah that's beyond my skill level <laughs> I don't know if you've ever done a 30 foot drop on a mountain bike I haven't it's not not my style <laughs> all right so you uh you obviously are, are very competitive and, and what I what I love about Ryan is He's probably one of the nicest guys you'll ever talk to, but, to he, be. but he's also very competitive. So it's a, it's a really awesome combination. So let's, uh, let's talk, talk about some of your accomplishments. So you were the national champion for cyclocross in the, what, what uh, age group? 30 to 34. 30 to 34. Group. And that was in what, 2014? Uh, 2014. So 2014. Exactly January of 2015. Okay. So. so, so Ryan has been a national champion, which is an awesome accomplishment for cyclocross. Um, and you finished third in the Pro XCT Mountain Bike Series, right? Um, uh, fourth. Fourth. I have finished fourth okay. in, the, in the Pro XCT Series. So <laughs> fourth, that's uh, fourth. pretty awesome. And so um, for those of, for, for people who don't know about that series, why don't you describe what that series is like? Um, it's, it's basically, it's like the, uh, it's the national series for, for mountain bike riding. Um, there used to be a series called the National Mountain Bike Series, and that determined the national champion, and then they transferred into the one-day championship and developed the uh, pro cross-country tour the pro xct okay and it's usually around seven to eight races annually that will travel the country um during the, the spring and summer and it usually draws the the best mountain bikers in the in north america a lot of the canadians and sometimes the europeans will will come join us okay so it's competitive so fourth place man that's that's pretty awesome uh, what was your so what was it like driving around the country i guess you you're so you're based in florida you're a family guy, so you came back to Florida between races. Yeah, Florida. Florida is definitely my home. Uh, you know, born and raised here. Uh, haven't really thought a whole lot about about moving. Yeah. I I enjoy it. This is this is home for me. Um, but I I was fortunate enough to have family uh, spread out across the country okay, and cool. was able to to spend some time in in uh, Southern California, which is where the series usually kicks off. Yeah. There'll be a, a couple of races out there in the spring. So I've been fortunate to be able to go out there for a month or two at a time, uh, for a couple of couple of the years that I was doing the doing the series. Okay. So. so, you know, people might say you're from Florida, man. You can't be fast. We don't have any hills. How how do you be fast uh, being from Florida? Oh, you know, most people think I get fast from running from alligators and <laughs> riding on the beach uh, with all the resistance of the sand. The the reality is. You know, we don't have long climbs, but where I'm at, it's, it's relatively hilly. There's not a whole lot of flat ground, I suppose. Uh, and most of the mountain bike racing, and especially cyclocross, is not in a mountainous uh, terrain. We don't have long climbs. Right. So on a, on a good spring morning, there's a pretty strong headwind. Yeah. And I, I think that, that strong headwind on the road will definitely compare it to a nice climb in the mountains. Yeah, I always tell people it's time and effort. doesn't matter Absolutely. if you're going up a hill or going on a flat land and, uh, you know, in a headwind or whatever. Absolutely. It's time and effort. So what's your, uh, what's your training like during the week? Uh, right now I'm working a full-time job at my uh, family's bicycle shop. So, and, and currently it's my mom and I in there, uh, okay. you know, Tuesday through Saturday, unless I'm on a Saturday racing like today. Yeah. Um, so at 10 to 6, I'm, I'm pretty much in the shop. So most of my riding is either an hour or two in the morning before work, 
Uh, and then oftentimes I'll be out on the bike for hour to three hours in the evening after okay. work. So I recently uploaded a video to my channel talking about how to balance cycling with family. Um, you're married and you're obviously a family man, not just with your wife, but you're close to your, to your uh, parents as well, which is awesome. So how do you keep things in balance uh, with your training and with uh, family and work and all the stuff that goes with life? One of the easiest things with my parents is that I work with my mom, my dad's in and out of the shop often, so I get to spend a lot of time with them. And I'd say we, we work pretty well together. And then with my wife, we actually don't work together, but she likes to ride bikes too, and she's, she's pretty good at it. So we're fortunate enough to be able to spend quite a bit of time outside the house on bicycles yeah. uh, throughout the week. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, you, so your your wife rides, which is which is good. My wife rides, uh, not you know not a whole lot, but uh, it's it is fun to get out with my wife and ride. Um, so what's uh, what's in the the future for your? Well, let me, let me ask you one question. So you, you started off with mountain biking, and now you you focus a lot on cyclocross. Why would you make that transition? Uh, cyclocross was a little bit different. I'd done the the mountain bikes. I'd, I'd raced at the elite level for. Uh, I think this was my 10th season, Okay. Uh, either my 9th or 10th season at the elite level, you know, racing cross-country mountain bikes. And about two or three years ago, I started doing some cyclocross for, I think just it was, it was new, it was interesting, and the, the scene was great, and I just, I had a blast. Yeah. And it's, it's similar enough to the mountain biking that I didn't have to learn a whole lot, uh, just kind of fine-tune my, my training and a little bit of the, the riding skills that are, are different. Right. And I've just I've had a fun a lot of fun uh, experiencing the new challenge. Yeah. Uh, it's similar, but it's still it's a new challenge racing some new guys, and uh, kind of something something else to try to conquer. Yeah. And I, I still have a blast on the mountain bike. I'm not definitely not ready to to give that up. But it has been fun to focus a little bit more on cyclocross. And come springtime, I'm sure I'll be back back on the mountain bike quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. Cool. So with cyclocross a lot of people like us you know just come either from the road or mountain bike scene and just get hooked on it what do you think it is about cross that gets people hooked on on doing cross races i think it's so fun it's so action-packed you know for the average uh average pro on two race we race for about 60 minutes and that is 60 minutes of of wide open you yeah. know 60 minutes of of cutthroat and you're right in front of everybody if you make a mistake, you know everyone saw you. Yep. So there's all the pressure not to make mistakes, so you don't have to hear about it. And uh, it's it is neat to have all the the crowds involvement, and especially going to to the large uh, cyclocross races. It, it is a lot of fun just to see the enthusiasm of, of the crowd. Yeah. And I think with mountain and with road, there's the enthusiasm there, but it's in a smaller smaller contained area. And the majority of your racing, you're you're out in the middle of nowhere where people can't really see you and you're you're kind of off on your own yeah so how do those big races the big national ones compare to these more regional type races like we have here in florida uh i think the races here we we tend to we get going and you get settled in if someone's faster than you they slowly ride away from you if you're faster than somebody else you slowly ride away from them and uh you kind of get settled into your pace yeah. and ride until they tell you to stop and i feel like at the at the large events it's it doesn't matter. There's always somebody faster than you, or you yeah. can always be going faster. And from the time they say start to the time they say stop, I mean, your eyes crossed, breathing out of your ears, and it's it is a blast. Yeah, yeah, cool. I, I've I've yet to do one of the you know really large uh, national. I know the nationals this year are up in the Northeast, yeah. up in New England. That's uh, qu Hartford, qu Connecticut. Yeah, so that, that's quite a trek. So um, perhaps I'll do that one. I'm I'm still considering yeah. it. Um, so what I was asking you before, what's in your future with, with cycling and racing? What are you going to focus on? Uh, speaking of nationals in Hartford, that, that's yeah. the next thing. You know, after today, we'll be, you know, we have a, a couple of weeks to, to prepare to, I'm going to train in the, the ice box and be ready for the, for the cold as we're out here sweating today. Uh, I'm sure this is good preparation. And yeah. then it'll be a little bit of downtime. I'm sure I'll do some of just the local fun events, uh, you know, around the, the community, some of the, the road events and some of the gravel events, and ultimately start preparing and spending more time on the mountain bike. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to do uh, some of the, the cross country, the pro XCT races this year, uh, highlight a, a couple of them that, that favor me as a, as a rider, my style. And ultimately, I want to focus on the marathon national championships, the okay. cross country marathon nationals. Awesome. Uh, I did. I got third this year in the elite national championship. Yeah. So, it's after seeing that I maybe had a 
had a knack for that. I'm going to try it again next year and with a little bit more focus, a little bit more uh, prepared to stand on the podium again, yeah. ideally. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Ryan, thanks for your time, and, and congrats on your Florida State champion Thank you. Uh, win today. So Thank that's, you. That's awesome. So uh, uh, good luck at, at Nationals. I, I know you. you're going to do well, so appreciate Thank your time. You. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.